Hi, I'm Mitchell Anikas, a senior technical writer at DigitalOcean. In this screencast, I'll show you how to deploy a Node.js app to production on two Ubuntu 14.04 servers. One server will run the Node app, and the other server will run an Nginx reverse proxy that your users can connect to to access the Node app. Before getting started, you'll need root or super user access to two Ubuntu 14.04 servers. You will also want to enable private networking on both servers. If you don't have two servers to work with, follow this link to create them on DigitalOcean. Note that it's possible to run a similar setup on a single server if you use localhost instead of private networking. To complete our setup, we will follow these steps. On the app server, we'll install the Node.js runtime, then we'll set up our Node app, and then we'll install and configure PM2. On our web server, we'll install Nginx, then configure it as a reverse proxy to the app server. Let's install Node.js and its dependencies on the app server now. First, log into your app server using SSH with SSH, your username, at your app server's public IP address. Once you're logged in, update your apt get repository listings with sudo apt get update. Enter your password at the prompt. Then install git, which the node package manager depends on, with sudo apt-get install git. Respond yes to the prompt. Next, add the node source PPA to your server with one of these curl commands. I'm going to use the PPA that has the LTS, or 4.x, release of node. If you want to use the latest version of node, use the 5.x PPA. Then install node.js and npm with sudo apt-get install node.js. Respond yes to the prompt. Node is now installed. Verify this with node-v. The output should show the version of Node that you have installed. Now we'll set up an example Node app. Download the example app with this curl command. Open the hello.js file that you just downloaded in your favorite text editor, such as nano or vim. Our example Node application simply listens on a specified IP address and port, and returns hello world with a 200 HTTP success code. Replace the placeholder app private IP address in both locations with your app server's private IP address. With this set, the application will be reachable only from servers on the same private network on port 8080. Now let's test that our hello app is working properly. On your app server, start the app in the foreground with node hello.js. In another terminal tab, connect to your web server. Find your web server's public IP address, then connect to it with ssh your username at your web server's public IP address. Now we can connect to the running node app with this curl command. You should see the hello world response from your node app, which indicates that it's running properly. Now switch back to your app server and press control C to kill the application. Now, on our app server, we're ready to install PM2, a process manager for Node.js applications. PM2 provides an easy way to manage and run applications as a service. To install PM2 using the Node package manager, enter sudo npm install pm2-g. Now we can use PM2 to start our application in the background with pm2 start hello.js. As you can see, PM2 automatically assigns an app name. PM2 also maintains other information, such as the PID of the process, its current status, and memory usage. Apps that are running under PM2 will be restarted automatically if the application crashes or is killed. However, an additional step needs to be taken to get the apps to launch when the server boots. Luckily, PM2 provides an easy way to do this, the startup subcommand. Generate a new PM2 startup script with PM2 startup Ubuntu. Then run the last line of the output to add the PM2 script to your system startup scripts. You should see output that looks like this. Now your node app will start when your server is rebooted. Feel free to test this out by rebooting your server, then running PM2 status. Check out the PM2 documentation to learn more about using it to manage your node applications. Now that your app is running and listening on a private IP address, we need to set up a way for users to access it. To do this, we'll set up Nginx on our web server as a reverse proxy to the application. We will set up an Nginx server from scratch. If you already have an Nginx server set up, you can just copy our example location block into the server block of your choice. Go back to your terminal tab that is connected to your web server. 
then update your apt-get repository listings with sudo apt-get update. Enter your password at the prompt. Then install Nginx, the web server software, with sudo apt-get install Nginx. Respond yes to the confirmation prompt. Now open the default server block configuration file for editing. Within your default server block, add this location block. Be sure to substitute your app server's private IP address for the placeholder here, app private IP address. Additionally, if your application is set to listen on a different port than 8080, change it here. Click on the annotation if you want to see an example Nginx configuration in more detail. This configures a reverse proxy on your web server to the node app on your app server. So if anyone accesses your web server in a browser, the request will be sent to your app server's private IP address on port 8080, which would be received and replied to by the Node.js app. Once you are done adding the location block for your application, save and exit. On the web server, restart Nginx to put the changes into effect with sudo service nginx restart. You should now be able to access your application via the reverse proxy of your web server. Test it out by opening your web server's URL, its public IP address, or domain name in a browser. You should see the Hello World output from the Node app. That's it! You should now have a Node.js application running as a service behind an Nginx reverse proxy. For your next step, you should replace the Hello World app with your own Node.js app. We hope you enjoyed the screencast. If you're looking to learn more about open source software and server administration, be sure to check out the DigitalOcean community for our extensive collection of tutorials at do.co community. See you next time.